Now here's the battery out uh, with the lid off of it. But uh, before we get into the battery here, uh, let's look at how we got here in the first place. The vehicle was towed in, it would just crawl. So the first thing we do is we scan it for codes and we get a P0B24, the battery uh, module unstable. And uh, so we do a, a cell health report and you can see that it has nine modules. Um, the ninth module is smaller. It's got eight cells in it, while all the rest of the modules have uh, 11 cells. And you can see the ones on the right that are bracketed. Those are the top tier cells, the ones on top of the other ones. Now, if we look closer at uh, this, we can see in module number two, cell 18 is at 3.87 volts whereas all of the rest of them are at 4 volts. So it's, uh, there's a problem with that cell. Uh, we don't replace cells, we replace modules. And uh, so we're going to end up replacing module number 2. Now here's how the modules are arranged. You can see that front small one, number 9. And then they go 1, 2, and then on the bottom tier, 3, 4, 5, and then they start counting back towards us at 6, 7, 8. And of course there's module number 2, Never the easy one to change, it's always the hardest one to change. So all of the top tier has to come off and the bracket that supports the top tier has to come off to get to module number two. So we start taking it apart, one cell one by one. You can see the uh, lifting fixture. The modules weigh about 100 pounds each. There's that top bracket that has to come off. And we have the uh, cell number two, or module number two out of there. Now here's the new module in the crate. Uh, we've hooked it up to our uh, high voltage battery uh, tester and charger. And we want to make sure it's good before we go ahead and put it into the uh, array. Now we've had it on here for several, several hours and it's charging up nicely. So this is a good pack. Uh, we'll go ahead and install it. Now on underneath the battery, there's a cooling tray. You can see the yellow caps, there's hoses attached there and they pump coolant through there. And uh, we can't use the old one because they use a thermal paste between the battery and the uh, and the cooling tray and uh, once it hardens you can't get that off without destroying it so we have to replace it. Uh, there's a special air powered gun. It's a two-part thermal paste kind of like a two-part epoxy stuff that gets squeezed out and then they give us this mask to put on top of the tray while we're applying the thermal paste. So we start squeezing out the thermal paste into the uh, mask. It's kind of a slow, tedious process. And uh, this stuff has a two-hour work time, so. I was also supposed to register me a year ago. Go on, with three months on. Just go straight to I'm up. Can. After, right? We'll Never see. perfect. <laughs> okay, you got it? Wow. You got it? Thank you for some much. Oh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and start installing the pack. So now it's just about putting it all back together and returning it to service. That's about it.
If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like.